What up? It's your girl, Philadelphia's Princess of Comedy, the one and only. Miss. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the snake in that joke? Yeah. <laughs> I sound like my brakes need to be changed. What up, Philly Tri State? And wherever else y'all listening to us, I hope it ain't the 803. Okay. And <laughs> across from her is none other than Mark Five. What's going on, people? Welcome to Open Conversation. What's going on? And that's it. Uh, that's from. it. He's sitting across from you. No, he's sitting next to you. You got to turn to your left. <laughs> right, next. Mr. Fast Lane, you won't be here today, and your girl back there is, is on her way. She can see safely. So now, what's up? I haven't been here in a minute. What's been going on? I've been listening. A lot of stuff. We moved. You see, you're in a new station. I've been here since that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Not much. You know, we we here. We've been holding it down for the new year, 2015. Um, trying to up our listeners, so if you sit next to somebody, please tap them and tell them to go ahead and download Open Conversation, Heat 100, and tune in to us. Um, so we just been pretty much holding it down. We had um, 2.5 was here. Mm -hmm. um, he came out and chilled with us for a little bit. So um, if you went in earshot, 2.5, holler at us. He ain't never called us back <laughs> and said hi, me and nothing. But it was cool. We, 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 you know, we do what we do. Yeah, as usual, we do what we do. We make it happen. This is the safe that keeps it 100. This is the talk show that educates, enlightens, and entertains. Um, so, how was y'all week? How was the weekend? What's been going on? Well, uh, I hate the cold weather. Yeah, me <laughs> both. Can I second that? <laughs> yeah. I hate the cold weather. Well, it's been nice. Knock on wood, it's been a blessing. We've been missing the snowstorms. Um, weekend was great. I had two shows, and as, as always, if I keep busy, I can keep moving. Um, you know, basically, that, that was really it. Philly's been popping right now. Everybody trying to get everything in. I um, had an extraordinary week with, you know, some important contacts. But otherwise than that, same old bad channel, same bad sleep. Okay, that's what's up. What's up with you, Mark Five? I heard you were doing some copping. I was doing some what? Copping. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad. I dropped my phone. <laughs> Look, I'm going to get like you on the phone tip. That's right. I, I'm upset. Dropped my Galaxy Note. So anybody got to call me, they better call me on the office phone. 267-368-5328. No, or 215-909-6070. Other than that, man, a lot going on. Videos and stuff. Uh, just trying to get this weather out of the way. <laughs> this weather. Just trying to yeah. hold fast until the change of the weather. Mm. Yeah, we got to what, March? Other than that, yeah, everything is cruise. everything, man. February 7th, we got the... Uh, the shooting for success uh, walk down 27th in Allegheny, 7 o'clock. We get that every year for the uh, death of my nephew, uh, Sean Anderson. Um, Saturday, we got uh, Abbott's Ford. I'm not sure the title of it, but it's a, a gathering where they're going to raise money for college uh, funds at the Abbott's Ford Center at 3 o'clock on Saturday. That's this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. So we out and about, man, doing what we do, loving the community. 
entertaining while conversating, you know. Yeah, most definitely. That's what's up. It's good to have you in the building, my brother. I know you're working hard. Cool. Yeah, a little bathroom call bad today. We're going to miss our bathroom call yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully, you know, uh, blessings will be bestowed upon all of us. And we will be able to get out of some of these jobs that we've been doing and concentrate on radio and some of our other intervention careers. And I had to worry about working a nine to five for somebody else. So that's one of the things I'm working on. I, uh, been offered an interview for a top model magazine because those of you who know me also do some modeling. If you need a model, hit me up, 215-715-2562. Um, so, you know, I got that going on. And uh, other than that, you know, just trying to get some some personal things straightened out in my life. You know, it's been a, been a rough couple of days trying to get on the same page with uh, somebody. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just about it. Somebody. 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 You know, okay, you I'm getting person. ready to sit no, up. We're not getting personal. I, we ain't going to get personal. No, I'm just, I said I'm about to personal. sit up. You're not getting personal. Just somebody. Okay. You know, you have people in your life and nope. you all have disagreements. Okay. Somebody. Yeah. Well, whoever this person is with disagreements, we sorry. <laughs> I didn't tell them. I said I'm sitting up. I ain't getting breath. I'm not you know, even going. Family gets you every time, though. Yeah. It is what it is at the end of the night. You seem a little emotional, though, you all right? I'm going to kiss myself together, that's all. It'll all right. Cool. It'll be all right. So, like you said, bestow blessings on us. Uh, we, we try to handle everything that we can. Um, do as much as we can. Uh, week has been great. Uh, I've been rubbing elbows with uh, some great people out there trying to maintain and get this team together. Um, I know that I'm missing my guy, brother. We, you know, we live. We're on Ustream. So, you know, log in if you want. Go to Ustream.com and find us. We are Open Conversations. Sador, LLC, ENT. ENT. I know it. <laughs> Look, I was looking he like was it. waiting <laughs> for me. You see how I had to raise up Sador, <laughs> LLC. I was getting ready to come. He was shot from the side. Pew, ENT. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, be, uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Your girl Liz should be in a building in a couple minutes or so. So. It seems like we missing a couple of people, but we holding it down because we. Oh yeah, definitely. We always hold it down. Whatever. One, two, three. We always hold it down. You tuned in to Open Conversations. Sador presents Open Conversation on Heat One Hundred Radio. Be right back. Yo 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 yo! It's your boy, Mister Fastlane, and now we're 15. back in the building. Make sure you check us out on Ustream at. Sador LLC. It's like you can't tell. My mic is on. You start talking to my mic, and I'm listening. So I'm like, LLC. I thought the show wasn't gonna work. On Ustream, and you can see your boy, Mr. Fastlane, live and in living color. You so know how we do. So it's commercials is on here. You got to pay for it. We heard before the commercials. You can put them on a show without her saying anything. Now, six fifteen. You want to talk to me about that right now? To the open conversation on Heat One Hundred Radio. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Sador Presents Open Conversation here on Heat 100 Radio. So, Simply D, what's going on with uh, the fashion thing and everything like that? Like, you know, well, like I said, I got uh, somebody called uh, a magazine. I don't know yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I don't want to uh, uh, put the bad luck on the thing. I want to be in the flow. So they called and asked if I would be interested in going to this magazine, basically about myself and open conversation. I heard so, you talk this back. Yes. You know, and um, you know, we'll see when it goes down. I will promote it and, and tell you when you pick the magazine up from, and, and hopefully it'll be a nice interview. That's oh, what's that's up. what's up. So I missed that. And shout out to Liz just walked in the, in the studio. So if y'all watching this live, that was her walk in with the hole, with, with the, the hole. bang. Bang, 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 hold. That's why I got up and left the count because I normally don't do that. But yeah. that's what's up with the model. Like, are, are you doing underwear or no? <laughs> <laughs> that's all yeah, I'm going to do. I do outfits for BBC Personal Collections. Uh, personal, who, you said? And, and who is that exactly? Diane Dancy Personal Collections. Okay. And it's personal. Yeah, she gave me yeah. her, her collection is like that. Personal. Yeah. I seen the work, but I'm just asking. Personal. Personal. Okay. No business connection for the model. 
Leave for the mom. Okay. It's all sizes. Mm -hmm. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. Eight to eight. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. There you go. We rock it like that. See, that's, that's when you know we on our. We are in tuned Look, with one like another. Run, that's right. right. <laughs> run and DMC in the building. Uh, that's what's up. What's I'm up, looking. Sister Liz? You in the building? She got to get me. Yeah. I'm in the she building. Said, just say hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a proper introduction. I'm just saying, what's up? It's that girl, Liz. I'm here. I, when I was coming in, it was a commercial. So that's why I came in like that. Because I thought y'all was doing it. Radio um, delay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> you know, I'm used to being behind the mic, not listening on, you know, on the app. You was listening on the app? Yeah. What was the app? Heat 100 Radio. Free app. I just had a new, what's up, Dave, from work, my, my new job, new co-worker. He, Downloaded it today. He's listening. So what's going on? What's going on, Dave? Show him. Show him the app on the, on the camera over there. He at work. He no, your, ca your uh, app. See? There you go. Right here for all y'all. Can y'all see it? No, you cut out the screen. I need you to show him. That's, that's, that's simply these here. Oh, <laughs> Hi, boo. Well, we're, looking, we're, looking, we're, looking <laughs> we're looking forward to the sunny day in the building. Um, I met this gentleman a couple weeks ago. Real inspirational uh, individual. We're going to talk about uh, the arts more. So the arts being missing in uh, schools. So that's something that, you know, I hope everybody tuned in. If you just tuned in, you're rocking with Simply D, That Girl Liz, Dark Child, and myself, Mark Five, Mr. Fast Lane, couldn't be here today, but he'll be back next week. Gotta make the cheddar. You know how it goes. So we'll be right back here on Heat 100 Radio. You're rocking with Sakura Presents. Open Conversation. I don't know why this is going on. I clicked it. This is the way the mic's going on. Is the mic on? Remember to pull over and switch to me. Is on? Yeah. You hear me? Switch. The love of the tangle in that. That's a black bitch here. She's out of the pool. It's tangled. It's the long, long right? Oh, that's good. Not right there. Mm -hmm. If the bottom can switch, switch the bottom. Oh, that's why I stopped bringing the keys to the keys. I can't plug it up. This guy, man, she has a real estate. I like to have this very first time. Tell me, baby, can you take my water? Can you breathe it? Give me some of that. That's a good word, because if she was on here earlier, I'm sure she wasn't on the radio. Um, so when we come back, we're going to be a dumb dumb moment. Okay. Who's here? I appreciate you making your way here, Miss Lee. Why does it seem like it's so oh my god? Everybody wants to hear me uh stuff from you on the radio. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, this way. Oh, I got it right here. Oh, I got it right here. Yeah, but it's like, you know what? Everybody not here. Yeah, I got it. Look. I got it. 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 I
Saw the movie Ghost Dad. Remember when you came through the phone? I will come through this phone and serve you. Okay, dum dum. Act like you know when you're talking about my money. Don't try to be that telephone tough guy. Because the same people you front in front of will be the same people asking you what happened to your face, dum dum. Don't be that telephone tough guy. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to respond to that. <laughs> Somebody rubbed simply be the wrong way. Telephone tough guy. When you be thinking of these dumb dumb moments? Let's explore from, this. From, from, from something we had, because next week it was going to be because I'm black and you're white, you can't listen, you can't listen to me. What happened? No, I'll wait till next yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need that one broken down for me. All right. I, I, believe it or not, I understand where you're coming from as far as the social media, uh, people on social media. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I guess they call it social media gangsters or whatever. Yeah, it's going to get tough. And the uh, social media ballers. <laughs> I just talked about this last night. At social work. media ballers. You know what yeah, I that's call the them? ones that be acting like they got all this money and everything. <laughs> I know. But then when you see them, they be on like, Thank you know, you. Scepter and they be... You know, acting like they you talking about this me? and that. No, oh, I don't okay. see you standing in front of Benz and talking about, yeah, my Benz. Oh, like, God. No. Well, yeah, oh, I, 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 that would make me mad. Being tough over the telephone and on any type of social media is like being retarded <laughs> and in the Special Olympics. Even if you win, you still retarded. <laughs> I, I, I swear I love my people. I just work with some special people. So, some, some people. caring and loving people. Just, hey, we do care, but you know, I love. I'm, we you love. Know, I love the world. Yeah. I don't talk bad about nobody. We don't talk bad about them, but don't try to be gangster on social media. Social media, media, social gangster. Yeah. Freaking, what Look, the the new like, word. The new like, word yeah. the kids taught me today. You turkey. That's the new word. That's yep. a new word. We used to say that, baby. You no, job turkey. No, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. It ain't the job. You just part. gotta walk up to him be like turkey. And what's the definition of turkey? I'm <laughs> gonna get that tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> they teach her so one day to time. Stay tuned next Thursday and learn what the word, what the word turkey. Is. turkey is. Don't use it until you know what it but means. But let's just know that it's derogatory. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean like you happy somebody. It's negative. Right, so don't go using it don't until use dark child breaks you know. break down the definition. Break down the definition. Now, yeah, we don't want you getting in trouble. Don't be talking about open conversations got me beat up because right. I called That's somebody a turkey. turkey. <laughs> and I just thought I was talking about Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, so what's been going on? Girl, I'm not this. When we come back, we're going to learn to, for me to do how was your week oh, you presents oc2 if you're interested in the topic and you want to get at us call us now 267-368-5328 call in now 267-368-5328 don't forget to check out our youth streams and search sador llc peace 
The time is now 6 oh, 30. Oh, 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 oh. Not yet. You got a couple minutes. What's up, Liz? <laughs> look, look, cause she, cause Dark Child talking to me, oh, and I'm trying to. Right, I'm she sorry. Said, like she threw me off. We all, we all looked at the. I'm getting clock. my, I'm getting my brother Raul for him. My fault. What's up, Raul? We know you listen. You oh, Raul! Why you doing that? Yeah, somebody is listening. What's up with that? What's going on with your week? How your week been? I know you've been having a busy week. Yeah, second week uh, at my new store training, and then I find out they're splitting our store. There's a there's an outlet store across in another across the street from us, and then there's, there's us. So they're splitting our store, like literally building a wall, and putting that outlet on one side and us on the other. So basically, our store is shrinking down, and in, into in a half. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you know I'm new to the company and stuff, so you know. But but it's going good so far. You know, the people are cool. You know, nothing major crazy happening, except for that, because that's, you know, a lot. So, you know, but I'm doing me. I go in there. I, I mean, it's not, I'm not new to retail management, so it's new to a different brand. Other than that, I hate the cold, because I heard y'all say that earlier when I was on my way here. I second, third, and fourth that, because I'm so over this foolishness. I don't like putting on coats, hats, scarves, none of it. Boots. I don't want the snow. I don't want any of it. It just makes you tired. I need to be rich so that in, when it's cold in the winter, I can go somewhere in the south to my mansion and then come back. My, the neighbor, my mom's neighbors is like that. I call them Dick and Jane. Remember the story? Yeah. Dick and Jane, two spot run? Because mm-hmm. I just never knew their names. And it was just the Caucasian couple that lived next door. And I said, Mom, where's Dick and Jane? She said, when it's cold, she'd be like, oh, they're in Florida. And then when it gets yeah. warm, Dick and Jane come back. And y'all see that stupid commercial? I call it stupid, you know, I'm hate because I'm hating. Where the people literally are flying to Florida. Like the people are in mm-hmm. the airplane. You see that? I'm going to punch them in their face. Oh, that's a tease. Hater. Yeah, that's be, every time I see it, I get made. I Do they show you when they get to the And they show them hitting the beach. Uh, oh, One guy does, cheating. he goes, <laughs> he goes uh, what's that? I don't swim. It's a cannonball into the ocean mm-hmm. from the sky. All in this foolishness, and this you mad because you're not. Um, I'm hating um, every time I see that change the channel. Well, I'm gonna send on when I go on my cruise and like I'm gonna send some pictures. Some videos, I'm gonna put my and I'm gonna uh, punch you right here. I'm gonna send some pictures <laughs> of some blue water because the I'm last time we left, it was really snowing outside. I took a picture of that day, snow that was my last day at work. Next morning, it was in took a picture of palm trees, whatever. Next. Next. Drag the word up. Next. Next. Listen, listen. I really, really need Simply D, and and I wish Mr. Fastlane was here. What's up, Mr. Fastlane? And and Mark Five, the dear OC letter today. You guys really need to. I'm gonna need y'all on this one. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Sister needs help with her 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 young children. Oh, so can you help with kids? Her youngins. Really? Can you be well, one of daddy? her youngins. Can you be her baby daddy? I got no, that. she don't need financial help. Oh, oh God, y'all took that letter <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to set y'all up. She needs somebody to come to the house with a belt. Something no like that, so hold that far. I got okay. a belt. <laughs> <laughs> he sat back like, I got a belt. You beating kids? Are you beating kids? Yes, DHS, I'm beating kids. All right, we are now off the air. B H S. We are off the air. Dude, how do you? No, nah, we ain't gonna touch on that. We not another show because I was gonna go somewhere with that. Yeah, but I, I'm not even gonna. Go to the dear O C letter, you want fast lane? He can't even hear us, so we just call his name. Well, I just wanted when I when I when I read it, yeah. I, I I was like, so me not you in my opinion don't count. So <laughs> it can Well, yours too we because screwed. you no, raised no, no, like don't clean it thirteen up now, kids. Because now you Stop want us. Kids. Now I want. You know how many I raised now. She raised like 13 plus. Well, don't do it. Half a child. So, mm. you That's know, I don't have kids. I know mm. how I react. And I do have a niece and nephew. And I know what I would do. So I can't chime in. Mina has kids. But it really sounds like there needs to be a, a, a male perspective. perspective on this one here. All right. All right. Let's keep flowing so we can get to it. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. 
30 p.m. She can't get a and you're tuned in to Sador Presents um, okay, Open Conversation oh, on yes. Heat 100 Radio, the station that keeps it 100 all the I time. Have to share now it's that time. Everyone needs someone to talk to. Oh my God, they're, they're, no, they're, they're having problems. They just need one of the ones. So now it's that time here on Sedor because it's open conversation. I just put it on because I, I got too much stuff. Dear. Oh, see, I can't hear you. They sound like you. Please, 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 I have fun doing it. What's up, Liz? <laughs> look, look. You know why? Because it's, it's we we gonna fight. We I like that one. Thank you, Manny. That wasn't man. That's me. That's you. Talking. Sound like preacher John. You sound like the preacher. You sound like Manny in yeah. there. Sound like the Baptist. This don't sound like Baptist. Oh, remember that wasn't me. Look, I'm remember, talking about remember, this, that. Remember, wasn't me. Remember, remember, this, remember, this, remember, this, remember, this, remember, 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 Remember when the color purple when 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 C when Oprah was walking going to the back street and she was singing in oh, the yeah, back woods? Yeah, yeah. That's the preacher. The back yeah. woods preacher. The preacher from way back in the woods where you can't even drive a car. All to this the time I thought that yeah. was our just that's row a boat to back in the woods. Oh, you can do some voice oh, impersonations then, I guess. Come on. All right, never mind. All right, let's get into, okay. One, let me apologize. My phone died because I didn't have to charge in work. That's where I'm coming from. That's why I was a few minutes late. Um, and I can't find it in my tablet. But I know the letter because I do pre-read them all um, when I get them. So basically, I had a, a young lady wrote us. Um, she didn't put her name and where she was from. She just said help. And she has a 14-year-old son who is out of control. He is smoking weed. He is staying out, coming in, you know, when she goes to sleep. Uh, she also has two other younger kids. Um, he's cussing her out. He's He's just wilding out. Like you already said, pretty, you look like you, your head is like <laughs> um, all the things that you we would never do or have done to our parents. I don't even cuss in front of my parents now. But anyway, I digress. So, um, what else? It was in that letter. Um, oh, she went. He's hooking school, and one day she came home early from work from school. He had a girl up in that joint. So that's the gist of the letter. And she's tired, and basically she's a single mother. Um, she is fed up, and she said either she's going to, and I quote this, and I remember this because it stood out. She's either ready to kill him or put him out, and he's 14. So I'm going to go to you, Mark Files. I was going to ask, where the dad at? She didn't say. She didn't say? Mm -mm. She said she's a single mom, so I'm assuming oh. the dad's not in the picture. Well, that's one of the issues <laughs> of the world today. Right? That How many times us men, the show us men, and I and I say us men because I, you know, I don't want to say all men, but men need to step it up and just take their families back, basically. And uh, like me and Simply D said behind the scenes, grab that belt. We need to take it back to the old school and stop letting the system dictate what we can do to our kids, and uh, you know. Do what we used to do, cause I tell you, plenty of times I got hit with whatever was close, and you know what that means. Anybody from back in the day know what that means. If yeah. the iron is close, you get hit with the cord. If, if whatever's close, I mean, we just got to step our game up as men and take control of these families, man. That's, that's I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna say this to 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 the young lady. Um, I, I totally agree with Mark, you know, in your situation, I don't know if you have, you know, brothers or there's uncles, some positive role models in the family that are, that live near you or, or, or that you can turn to for help. If not, there are tons of programs out there that 
could probably help you for, before you go to the you killing them or or you putting them out you know um you know it could be i know for me i rebelled when you know i didn't my mom didn't raise me and whoever follows this show everybody knows that story so i'm not gonna go into it however i did rebel because of that you know that bonding i always say when i act or do something crazy i'm like i wasn't breastfed you know blame it on that i'm just saying because they say that that binds the kid i don't know Anyway, I wasn't breastfed. So, and, and I never I never heard that before. Yeah, that helps bond the mom and something, 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 whatever. Well, I missed that whole part. So, and I did rebel and, and, and you know, ran away. And, you know, I had some issues, you know what I'm saying? So he could be, you know, doing that. Um, I don't know, but there is a way to get some help. Um, I'm a firm believer in tough love. You know, I did raise my sister, and she did a lot of similar things. Uh, sis, I love you. You know, you're grown now, doing good, but you know how you was. And and I had to get that tough love. You know, she she came from me from a, a, a program, and I was a kinship foster parent. And she wilded out one day. I said, okay, that's how you want to act? Okay. I called up that caseworker. You can come pick her up now. And she was backpedaling and backpedaling, but she had to learn a lesson. And, and I'm a firm believer in that because that's how I was raised. You know, um, there was no back talking and cussing, and it was not going to be tolerated in my household. You know, um, so I'm, what do you think, Snippy? I mean, what, what is your advice to help her with this out of control? So, and don't, before, before I turn this mic over, because look at you, you drooling because you want to talk. <laughs> Remember, she needs help. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay I'm going to uh, list the things down here for you. Okay. Are you ready? Number one, take the dog keys. He goes out of the house after hours. Do not open the door and let him back in. Whip that behind. Um, put him out is the last resort. If he doesn't want to follow the rules that you lay down, the last resort would be to put him out. Do you have any other males in your family? Uncle, brothers, dad. Anybody who's close to the family, have them come over and have them check it behind as well. Um, lay down the rules. Once you lay down the rules and he doesn't follow them, it's a wrap. You got to go. You are not going to be in my house and not follow the set of rules that I lay down. Because if you think you 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 digging bad and you ain't paying the bills up in this this piece, you got to go. In the story. Alrighty then. Well, thank you. I that, agree with that everything. Make, that, yeah, that and you did good. I thought you was going to be going. Y'all know how simple D can be sometimes. Miss Dark Child, it's me. Because you, you, you know, you made ah. to our kids. And, and, and I know you gave tough love. Woo! You still giving it, matter of fact. The phone calls you won't take from the jailhouse. Because my situation, the police, 35th District, was my friend. Uh, my son cut school. Police called me, said, We're here at the 37th. I'm giving. So I proceeded to go to the 37th. The look on my face when that officer saw me, and she said, Miss, there's a room in the back with no camera. You know what that meant. Oh, yeah. Whip him here. Mm -hmm. So I got to know the officers in the neighborhood. And they went out the house, and I locked them out. They climbed up the side of the house and went in the house. So I put bars on that window. So when I left, they had to leave. They sat on the porch all day until I got home. Police officers rode by and waved at me and commended me for what I was doing because they boys. So to the young lady that needs help, one thing that I truly and truly suggest that you do, find a male role model, pastor, an imam, a Buddhist monk, a, a brother, sister, cousin, someone who this child will be able to show some respect for. And let me say this, I would put it on the religious side of things because kids tend to listen to pastors. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are Muslims, so they listen to the imam. Take them. That works. And then, like I said, beat them 
with the TV cord. <laughs> if you can't get the cord unplugged, beat them with the TV still attached <laughs> to the cord. <laughs> I got beat with my brother. My mom beat me with my brother. So, stop playing. Beat him. Yeah, like, I, I don't know with the whole cop thing, like, yeah. My, my, my grandma would like, oh, you want to act like this? Okay. After I whip you, I'm calling the cops and because my uncle had some alcohol or something she caught him with. Call the cops on him. Told the cops, knock him up. Nigga too young. He a mic. And it's cop, the police station right around the corner. And and, and 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 they did that, you know what I mean? And and yeah, he probably still drank, but it ain't come to that house no more. And they we ain't know about it, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I, I hope that helped, you know. But I definitely say, you know, find somebody and, and do the things that the dark can simply be suggested. If you need, what, if you got a chime in, please call us 267 368 5328. If you got some uh comments for what she said, I need help. Just yeah, help. Just help. He said, wills, use that track. He said, help. <laughs> so if you got any help, um, don't forget, we are on Ustream. Check us out. Go, go ahead, Mr. Mr. Mark Five got something. Real, to real quick before we go to break. I think first, the first step is sit down, because a lot of people don't say this because we be so angry. But the first step to do is sit down and try to talk to the child and try to understand. I mean, try to understand why. Because there's a lot of times that my, remember when my son was here, he said, this take time to talk because sometimes mm -hmm. they don't relate to us being older people. Mm -hmm. So maybe get somebody that's a role model that's their age to sit down and try to hang with them. Sometimes the people that you're around, you know, that you get fall into that, uh, that circle. So, I mean, get somebody that's doing positive things to maybe sit down and talk to them because they can relate to that person more than they can relate to us. Maybe. True. So I just wanted to put it out there real quick. You're tuned in as the door presents open conversation here on Heat 100 Radio. We'll be right back. Hey, this is your man, Sid Great Day. You don't just have to catch us every Thursday, 6 to 8 on Heat 100 Radio. You can also follow us Thursday, 6 to 8 on Ustream at S-A-D-I-O-R-L-L-C-E-N-T. You can also follow us on YouTube at S-A-D-I-O-R-L-L-C-E-N-T. Sonny, you should come on in. Let me just put the song on. Get you set up. Day on Facebook, where we discuss different topics. Be a part of this exciting day. Sunday. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Tommy. Tommy, how you doing, Tommy? Hi. How are you? Okay, good. I'm Mr. Chow. I'm Mr. Chow. Get you set up. Um, How's everybody doing tonight? So, it's my first radio program. Never had can you hear me that mic, Yeah. And you're a song. I'm Right, and 
that's the information that you like if anybody wants to get at you, you want to give them the information, stuff like that. Who are we coming back with, Mark? Uh, this is you. Which one want to do? Um, go ahead in the dark, cause the dark, cause you just wrote the dark. I, I, I'm thinking about changing my segment because I do the dear OC letter, and this is a lot. Alright, Doc, you ready? But turn that robot around with you. All right, 45, ready? And mic's uh, on. Hey, I'm back. This is the one and only Miss Dark Child. <laughs> That wasn't me. <laughs> that way it stopped. Okay. Like, throw you off. like, ah. 645, y'all. You know this is my segment. 267-368-5328. Get ready to call in. The name, the, this is my throwback, and it's really not ever a throwback. It's always, do you remember this? And I like to jog your memory. You remember some things that I remember, or this is just something to jog something in your memory. The topic today is, that's not your friend. Now. Everybody has a different definition of friend. So, I went to the English dictionary and looked up the word friend. It says a friend is a person whom you like very much and enjoy spending time with. Someone who helps or supports someone. Okay? Then I went to the Urban Dictionary. The Urban Dictionary definition of friend is people who are aware of how retarded you are and still manage to see you and be seen with you in public. This is from the Urban Dictionary. That's people who right? make you laugh until you pee your pants. Wow. People who cry for you when one of your special items disappear. When you don't have enough money to get ice cream, they chip in knows all of your internet passwords, and who never makes you cry just to be mean. But my segment is called, That's Not Your Friend. So when we think about friends, when you wear those shoes, and they run over, and every time you go out, your friend never says anything about it, that's not your friend. Let you say words that you know that you are mispronouncing. Girl, put the dishes in the zinc. I want some scrim. When they allow you to say words that are not in the English dictionary and use incorrectly, that's not your friend. When you're going to say, girl, that dude ain't no good for you, but now you dating them, that's not your friend. He has three kids and claim them all on their taxes. And don't buy for at least offer you one child. That's not your friend. Because a friend knows you can only claim two child, two kids on your income tax. Go ahead and give me that third child. Then you'll be my friend. <laughs> But that's not your friend. You know a person is not your friend if they do not offer you medication that they got from their doctor for a toothache. When you know the antibiotics is really because they're pregnant. That's not your friend. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave y'all hanging with that last part because next week's segment we wrote this down. It's using medications that don't belong to you. <laughs> I 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not your friend. Antibiotics and it's because they pregnant. I'm so confused. You're going to have to wait till next week to be unconfused. <laughs> <laughs> but anybody that does any of these things, now you know. Dude, you're right. A friend will allow you to claim that other child. You only get two. Why are you going to be selfish and take the third? Let me get that $1,500. It's mm -hmm. not your friend. Open conversations does not control. This is the disclaimer. Does not condone trying to cheat the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put that out there. This is all a joke. She's a comedian. I'm not. That's not your friend. You see, that's not your friend. No, you're right. Friends. When it's time to rumble. Don't do that. <laughs> what? And your real friend will put their hands up. But your fake friends will run. The one running down the street? <laughs> that's not your friend. <laughs> When it's time to rumble, make sure they stand in there. Because that is going to be your friend. So, now that you know who your friends are, <laughs> you know what Eat 100 <coughs> Open Conversation stands for. Yo, tune in. And I got a question for y'all. Because it's a throwback, right? I want y'all to go in on our website and plug in. Simple question. You ready for it? What do you prefer, mayonnaise or miracle whip? This is your girl, Philly Dark. That girl comes. I'm your friend. Miss Dark Child. I'm your friend. Are you my friend? I'm your friend. And you're my friend. And you're my friend. We all friends up in this piece. But that's your friend. What do you think? Is that no, your friend? I agree because I'm going to tell you, me, me and my best friend, Dimitri, go out or she. Okay. We'll go out. We, if you're looking crazy, we gonna be, I'm, girl, where you going in that outfit? Right? You want to be a mirror, right? Your pants too high for them shoes. How about it? I, I can't. Your ankles too white for them open toes. You got lipstick on your teeth. Like, get that together. That, that's a friend. Take another 10 minutes and we're going to be right here on the couch. That's enough. That's a friend. Because fun. people just don't, they don't. They let their friends go Just off. look. Uh, uh, the ball stand, they looking at me. Like your like, outfit. You looking you know like. right, though. And then, but see, they don't look at you. Track they hanging. Look, hat track, track hanging. Boo. Blend that hair. Blend that's it. That's my two cents. Blend it. But we, we got to talk about it. But that. listen. I can't take it no more. Listen. They look at you, and then immediately, they look at your friends as if to say, why did you allow I know, because I do it all the time. Do. I don't even, I'm, I know something wrong with you, because you put it on. But somebody in this bunch of people yeah. got to be sane enough to say, why you do that? You know her heel ain't even a heel no more. <laughs> Them, they went from heels to flats, and you allowing her to wear that? That ain't your friend. Yeah. No, that was a good one. That was a good one. So tune in next week when we talk about using other people's medication. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Okay. I'm ready. Ready. <laughs> you said you're ready. I'm ready. I wish we could speed it up, and the day would be Thursday right now. We can start all over. It is Thursday. Next Thursday. Oh, okay. You left the neck out, friend. Okay. No problem, friend. Right after this, right? All right, we're going to have an interview. PM. I guess we're waiting for the interview. PM. Right here. You still have to be better. To the one and only show that gets it popping and keeps it 100. We are open conversation. Find a little bit about something. A little bit about something. Try to we take it to seven. Tune in. Talk to us. It's well, a dialogue. Yeah. So yes, it definitely is you. a dialogue. Not a monologue. Right. A Five dialogue. Seconds. That means you talk to us. We Mike's talk on. to y'all. Right here on Open Conversation on Heat 100 Radio. What's up, everybody? It's that girl, Liz, and you are tuned in to Open Conversation right here on Heat 100 Radio. And I want to introduce one of our guests tonight, Mr. Sonny Death. And he is going to help us talk about uh, this very hot topic on the arts in school, specifically music. Um, I found some really, really great information that I'm going to like pick your brain with. And I'm sure my, my co-hosts have done some research as well. So tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, um, and your contact information. Excellent, excellent. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sunny Day. 
also known as Dwayne Sunny Nixon L on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as The Singing Soul, and also my blog page on Facebook, The Education and Information Station. Uh, I am a singer. Uh, I have uh, done acting as well as storytelling and a variety of other different things in the arts and entertainment field. Um, I'm here tonight uh, with another guest who should be here just shortly. Her name is Miss D. Wellman, who is actually my manager uh, in uh, the performing arts industry. Uh, well, tonight we have a very, very, very important topic, which is the importance of arts in the schools. And the reason I'm here tonight is because I felt compelled after having an opportunity to speak with Mark, meeting Mark, and it's a chance to reach out tonight to individuals who may be going through a situation a lot of parents are concerned because arts and music and various different humanity programs are being taken out of the school because of budget cuts. So we're here to discuss possibly some alternative uh, methods, uh, also uh, to see what could possibly be done maybe to, for those parents who may be involved in their communities, uh, their school boards and community groups uh, that have a concern regarding this matter in reference to their children being educated in the arts and the entertainment fields or humanities in the public school systems. Okay, so um, how do you uh, how do you what you do play out with um, the public school system? How do you interject what you do with the public school system? Well, at present, uh, I'm not doing anything uh, with the public school system. Uh, I can say that uh, there was a time I was a partner uh, with a lady out of uh, Willingboro, New Jersey, uh, by the name of Queen Noor. Uh, this is uh, she currently is the president of the uh, Black Storytellers Association. Uh, she was newly elected. Um, however, it was well over uh, 11 or 12 years ago uh, that we worked together. Uh, it was my first experience actually in what I call, and I've heard the term used, edutainment. Uh, it was through storytelling uh, that I realized uh, just how important uh, being able to uh, utilize the art form of music, storytelling, uh, to teach all 